what's up everybody welcome back to another part of the sims 3 generations saf i love him so goddamn much he's so freaking cute so it is 8 30 on a saturday morning saf was up bright and early like 6 30 i think he's gonna be our early riser um for sure so he was up bright and early. His friends did go home. I think after a sleepover, they naturally go home at like 7 or 8 in the morning. Um, so yeah, he's just up kind of taking care of himself. He hasn't had breakfast yet, but he'll have breakfast later. I did actually go ahead and purchase um, a tree house just because we don't have a whole lot of money. And I'm trying to save it because I actually plan on doing a house revamp, let's see, um, on Monday in the game. So literally in two more parts. Damn. Yeah. Okay. In two more parts, I'll be doing a house revamp. Um, so I'm trying to save as much money as I can for that, but I did want to go ahead and get him just something to play with, um, like something outside. So that's what he is doing. Jasper is up and taking care of both of the babies. They both have to pee. They're both very hungry. You know the deal. And Sage, I am letting her sleep in either till she's fully rested or 10 p 10 a.m whichever comes first which will honestly probably be 10 a.m just because she does work till three in the morning but i do want sage and jasper to have a date day today they haven't had a whole lot of one-on-one -on -one time lately because of you know all the babies and everything so i definitely want them to have a little you know i want them to have a personal date day together so um, Jasper's just gonna go ahead and get all of the babies taken care of. We'll go ahead and attack him with the claw. All of that fun stuff. Mila knows all of her skills. That's right. We taught her how to talk in the last part, so that's amazing. Oliver does know how to walk, which is super good. So we're actually doing really good, um, with their skills and everything. I'm super, super proud of us. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and have him eat some... Well, all the, the only actual breakfast food we have is waffles, and those are spoiled, so I'm going to have him have some plum cobbler for breakfast today. You know, he is a kid, so might as well. And then I'm going to have him go out and play in his, um, oh, okay, so have a sleepover. He literally just wanted one friend to sleep over, not like a slumber party. Interesting. What are you doing? Why are you putting him down? You were supposed to potty train him. What are you doing? Stop. Potty train Oliver. Hopefully Mila will get out of the way in time. Mila, get in here and- Hello? Hello? Get in here and- Okay, and then you are just gonna feed him on the floor. Oh shoot. Um. She was supposed to get up half an hour ago, but it is what it is. I kind of forgot at this point. Oh, it's probably because of the crib. Okay. So let's, let's just straight up get rid of these because we have those in like the toddler room. Honestly, that's fine for their bedroom. It really doesn't matter. All right, Mila, go ahead and play with this. You're gonna potty train and then feed on the floor. And then I need you to change into your everyday wear and then come out here. So yeah, him and Jasper, or him and Sage are going to have a little date day. Super exciting. Um, why don't you come and give some of the animals some attention, Saf? I know you were planning on doing it anyways, but um, we'll go ahead and talk to and feed a treat and then brush and then over here, we will talk to, feed a treat. Oh, your thing is full. Okay. Talk to, feed a treat, and then pet. And then I think we're going to invite over, who is this? Bradley. Bradley. He's a fucking teenager. Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? He ages up in three days, so he can be a teenager. That's fine. We'll invite over Marcy. Um, so then he can try and build his friendship with Marcy. I think that would be really good for them. Okay, but this part was supposed to be about Jasper and Sage. So let's come over here and ask her on a date. We'll do a nice little dip kiss. We'll tell her how gorgeous she is. We'll hold her hands. We'll ask about her day. We'll also applaud her hard work because she does work very hard. And then they're going to go out to a nice restaurant. Um, uh, I want to try and be out like 
most of the day, honestly. Like, I want them to be out pretty late tonight. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and, like, get a babysitter and everything, and they will head out. We're not really going to focus on the kids today. Um, they'll just kind of be chilling with the babysitter all day, basically. Okay, cool. Let's chill. What a great way to, like, say yes to a date with your husband. Love that so much. <laughs> Um, and then after you invite Marcy over, you'll just go ahead and play outside while we wait for her to get here. Look at my little walker. Ah, oh, I love him. He's walking over there. Such a cutie. All right, hold hands, ask about day, applaud her hard work. And then we're going to go to the bistro. I want them to go to the nice restaurant. And I think it's out here. Yes, it is. So we're going to go eat here with our date. And then where do they want to go after that? It's a party. Ariel is hosting a party? Are you kidding me? We're going to go to the party then, apparently. Um, unless the party gets canceled by then, which it's very likely. Um, the party might have started at like 10. <laughs> so it's probably close to being done, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, how are you doing over here? I don't... I think he's still... Actually, I think Mila still has to learn some of these. I'm going to have her come over here to see if she needs to learn any of these. Okay, plot her hard work. I love how it says eat brunch. It's also 1230, so that's like definitely lunch. But like the fact that it says eat brunch is actually so cute. She's in her wedding dress. Hold on. Does she have... I think she has two formal wears. She does. We're going to put you in your other one. It's literally the same thing, just in black. <laughs> but we're going to put her in her other one, um, just because I don't want her strutting around town in her wedding dress. That's super unrealistic, you know. Ugh. And I will follow them in just a second. I just want to make sure that the babies are all set up with stuff. So I think Mila is actually finished with both of these, but I just wanted to check really quickly just to be sure. Okay, so she's definitely finished with that one. Marcy is on her way over. Perfect. They still haven't gotten to the restaurant, so I'm not too worried about it. And then why don't you come over here? I want to see if you need that one still. And then you play that one because I know for sure you need both of them. Okay, so she does still need this one, so I'm just going to leave her over here to play with that one. And then when she finishes it... Um, do I have a dollhouse in here? I don't. I'll just have you play inside the toy box. Because why not? Who is this? Marianne. They're out at brunch. Super exciting. And then Marcy's on her way over. So I love how this was supposed to be a date day for the adults. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I'll just hang out with the kids while they're doing this. Well, I'll just hang out with the kids while they do this. And now I'm probably going to be with the kids all freaking day. Okay, actually, go chat with Marcy. We can pick that Cosmo later. Hey, Marcy. You're our future bestie. Our future bestie. So excited. Hopefully, they'll be besties. Um, we'll invite her inside just so she can come in and, like, use the bathroom and stuff. I'm just going to get them, like, set up with a bunch of stuff to do. We'll chat again, make silly face, tell funny story, get to know her. Um, and then we'll play tag. Just want to have them set up with stuff to do so that way we can, um, they're still like doing stuff. How do I explain this? Like they're, st they're not just standing there doing nothing, you know? Um, okay. It's no longer a party. Oh, wait. That's not their house. Okay. It is still a party. So we're going to go to the party with them. We'll probably get a nice little shower woohoo in just because he needs a shower. And she kind of needs a shower also. So best way to do that is to get a nice little shower woohoo in. And I think we'll try one more time to... This is a really funky shaped restaurant. This would be a cute one to eat outside at, actually. I think you can do that, right? Yeah, eat outside. That would have been a really cute one to eat outside, but it is what it is, you know. It's whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Okay, so they have a nice long line of stuff to do. Um, Jasper just ate at a restaurant, and so did Sage. She's coming with, right? Where is she? Where is she? Who's this? Walker. A mad scientist. It's already 3.30 p.m., 
p.m. This has been the shortest day in existence. Like, quite literally, the shortest day in existence. I might, honestly, at this rate, I might do Saturday and Sunday to get there, maybe? Sunday is Jasper's birthday, so I kind of want to make that its own part, but also, like, let me see real quick. Let me see. I've only been recording for 10 minutes, so... We'll see. By the time we get to like 10 o'clock, I'll see how long I've been recording and then maybe I'll do Sunday in this part. Maybe I won't. We'll just have to figure it out. But we're going to go off to the party. Um, oh, we received Ariel's party invite just now. Um, it doesn't start till 9 p.m. supposedly, but like we're already here, you know, we're just going to we're just going to go for it. You'd be like, hey, I'm here for the party that starts in five hours. Is this their house? Be invited inside. Okay, good. Did they move? They had to have moved. Or we're just looking at it from the wrong angle. Yeah, because this is the front door. I think they moved because I remember them living in a single story house. Hold on. Is this even... Okay, this... See, now I'm so confused. Did they move or have they always lived here? Because I don't feel like they moved, but this looks like a different house. Teach Oliver to talk. Oh, we will definitely be doing that. Don't worry. Ignore that phone call. Oh, it's her phone. Are you answering it? What's going on? Why can't I ignore the phone call? Okay, well, whatever. We got invited inside. Let me see. Yeah, this is definitely a new house. Okay. Um, I love the pool action over here. Super cute. Got a nice little um, living room, dining room, bathroom, kitchen. Cute, cute. And then upstairs, you have two bedrooms, each with their own private bathroom. Um, I love that Ariel's sleeping in the middle of the day. It's so cute. So freaking cute. Okay, so I really want to work on their friendships, but he definitely has to go to the bathroom first. So let's have, oh, you know what I want to get? I think I might have already, no, I haven't gotten this. I want to get long distance friendship um, because I hate when they drop down to old friends so quickly. Where is it? Long distance friend. We'll go ahead and get it. And then, oh, we can actually get it for him too. I know we need to keep at least 30,000 for fertility because I do still, I've been getting a lot of comments on that. I do still plan on them, on Jasper getting the fertility treatment for their very last pregnancy. So then hopefully their very last pregnancy will be multiples. So we're gonna come over here, ask her about her day. Um, we're gonna give her a friendly hug and we're gonna get to know her. Um, we'll go ahead and discuss work and we'll tell an inside joke. Why can't I? Ign okay, there we go. Ignore the phone call. They are playing tags. Super cute, super cute. Oh, do not go home. Don't do that. Um, we're actually going to make our way upstairs and we'll wake Ariel up. Okay, let me guess. They're old friends. That's so annoying because I swear once you become old friends, you never go back to being like regular friends. It's so stupid. Get to know, discuss work, tell inside joke, um, compliment her home. We'll go ahead and chat with her. Did they have a radio? How do you not have a radio? Your whole entire house, not one radio. Let's go ahead and wake him up. It is his party, you know, so he should probably be awake. I love that he's thinking about his wife. He's like, oh, my wife, I miss her. Um, let's give him a friendly hug, ask about his day, um, compliment his new home, and then chat with him. I think these guys are, they're old friends too. That's annoying. Girl, who keeps calling you? I swear to God, she's gotten like 65 phone calls. Ridiculous. This is good. You know, we haven't seen our friends in a really long time. I am curious though where their child is because he's a literal child. And he's not here. Oh, he's a teenager now. Oh my god, I didn't realize he was that much older. I love how they're still only dating. 
Like that's just, I don't know why that's so cute to me, but that's just so cute to me. Um, okay, so we're gonna come down here and let's make some quick drinks and hopefully um, Ariel will make his way downstairs. Otherwise, um, invite him to join conversation and maybe he'll walk down here by himself, hopefully. How close are you guys? You still got a ways to go. Still got a ways to freaking go. Okay, he's coming down on his own. That's perfect, actually. We're gonna intercept him before he can go make food. Um, we're gonna come over here and friendly hug. You know, all the basics. We haven't seen them in a while. Chat with him, um, compliment their new home. Discuss work, um, tell a funny story. And why don't you, I can't bring a drink to her. Call over, where are you going, Ariel? Absolutely not, or no, not Ariel, you're Kinsley. Turn around, Kinsley, yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Let's ask about her day. Um, compliment home. And get to know her. And then we'll go ahead and have a quick drink. And then you will also have a quick drink. How close are you? Oh, he's actually closer with Kinsley than with Ariel. That's interesting. Okay. Good to know. Is this party about to start? What's wrong? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Why are my babies in such bad mood? Why are you so tired? It's 8 p.m. Hold on. I'm just going to jump over here real quick because... Why are we so exhausted at 8 p.m.? That's kind of wild to me. And where is this babysitter? Okay, go ahead and use the potty and then come over here. Also, these guys are still playing tag. That's even crazier. Let's ask her to spend the night. Does this get our friendship up? Okay, at least we're friends. So we're going to ask her to spend the night and then um, definitely like get some leftovers and stuff. You kind of need some attention too. Like you're about to piss yourself oh my god and it's storm's birthday i totally forgot storm's about to age up okay they're all good with stuff i'm just gonna have her do that because obviously ariel walked away so they're gonna chat it up then they're gonna have their little shower woohoo because they smell like booty hole i hope the babysitter puts them in the right crib also oh my god we finally have a big animal and you know what this reminds me of my dog so much like not exactly he's definitely like thicker but this reminds me of my dog so much like if i had to make a sims version of my dog that would probably be pretty close to what it is all right um he wants to attend a party fill the food bowl give a gift to marcy we probably will not give her a gift just because i don't know what kind of gift we would give her um but we're gonna grab some food fill the food bowls we're actually probably not going to attend the party so i'm gonna cancel that and then we're gonna go for a joyride Okay, can you, like, yeah, can you potty train him or feed him or something? Like, take care of my babies. Absolutely not. You get out of their bathtub right now. Jasper, I swear to God. He's like, oh, I'm at a party. I'm going to go take a bath real quick. Like, let me just take a real quick bath. Um, okay, why don't you, since, oh, it's not. Why can't I convince? But it's a party. All right, we're gonna go woohoo with Sage. Um, definitely not gonna risky woohoo because obviously their chances are really high. Because um, if you remember, Oliver was not supposed to come that quickly. We did one risky woohoo and that's how we got him. So um, just throwing that out there in case you guys forgot. Okay, so hopefully she'll change his diaper. Jasper has been eternally faithful to Sage. Jasper has earned eternally faithful reputation. And Sage has the exact same thing. That's so exciting. That's actually so exciting. Okay, please change his diaper and then maybe feed him and then maybe put him in his crib. Ariel, get the hell out. We're trying to woohoo. Jasper increased his charisma. I love that. Okay, since it's... Can I... Man. I can't, like, convince them to, um... She's sleeping on the floor! Oh my god, this is the worst babysitter ever. 
Uh, we're not paying her. We're not paying her. She's sleeping on the goddamn floor. My child is sleeping on the goddamn floor. Also, I just realized um, those are still on, so I'm going to take them off. Oh, also, wanted to throw this out there. I accidentally messed up and changed the season to f summer, um, but I changed it back to spring. I will be... I don't remember exactly what day it was supposed to become summer, but I will make it summer on Monday. I can't remember if it was supposed to be... Like, Monday was the first day of summer, or Sunday was the first day of summer. I genuinely can't remember, so, um, yeah. Oh, is she sitting and feeding us? Oh, okay, so she's gonna sit and feed us while we sit in a shitty diaper. Okay, interesting. Um, girl, why don't you wake up and come over here so maybe she will, you know, check for monsters. There isn't even an underneath of your bed. And let me guess, there were freaking monsters. So now he's, for two hours, he will refuse to sleep in his bed. Oh my god. Well, he wants to become BFFs with Marcy, and we are good friends, actually. So let's go ahead, let's call her over just to get her off the couch. Okay, I'm hoping she'll change his diaper and then put him in his crib, and then the babysitter will go change Mila's diaper, or like, feed Mila and then put her in her crib, is what I'm hoping, but... I really don't expect that to happen. Okay, so she's over here. Let's tell an inside joke, make a silly face, admire her, play some rock, paper, scissors. Let's give her a friendly hug, um, share a secret, all that fun stuff. Please, for the love of God, change my diaper. Mila, no, get in the house. I hate when the babies go outside. Are you serious? You're just putting him on the ground. I hate this babysitter. She actually sucks. Change his diaper. Well, change his diaper if you don't want to listen to him cry. Feed her if you don't want to listen to her cry. I'm so confused. Like, literally, he's going to have to come take care of them. Oh, my gosh. Feed her on the floor. Yeah, Saf has to take care of them. This is god-awful. I feel so bad for Saf. He's like, my parents are gone and my babysitter won't do shit, so I have to go take care of them. Okay, hopefully you will change his diaper. Be put down. Okay. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Alright, Saf, come over here. I don't think he can change his diaper. Oh my god, I don't think he can. Okay, go put Oliver in the crib, and then you'll go- Are you kidding me? Always doing this dumb shit. Go pick up Oliver. Yeah, I don't think kids, even with my mod, I don't think kids can change dirty diapers. Oh, that sucks. He's gonna have to sleep in his own shitty diaper. Oh, poor baby. What are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? There's a babysitter here. Honestly, though, it is probably time for the parents to come home. So we're going to go here with our date. <gasps> our babysitter disappeared. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. So, so Saf called his parents and was like, hey, like... Um, I don't know where Mariana went. Like, our babysitter just disappeared. Like, she's gone. So they're... Oh my god, so Jasper's running home. Oh my god. Dad of the fucking year because Sage is still at the party. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the, end the date. That was fun. Thanks for taking me out. Um, suddenly his diaper's clean, so that's cool. Um, go put Mila in the crib. Saf... No, no, no. Come over here. You need to thank your oldest son so much because it's literally one in the morning and this child is taking care of two toddlers because the babysitter ditched. Yeah, you need to, like, give him a hug, ask him how the night went, and be like, I'm so sorry. And then, do we, do we have a gift that we can give him? Um, damn it. 
Okay, come, put this over here. Can you give him a pumpkin seed for a gift? Oh, wait. Give gifts. We will do... Oh, we're going to gift him this. It's technically in our family inventory, so, like, it doesn't really matter. Also, I'm going to sell these. I don't know why I've been keeping them. Um, but, yeah, we're going to gift him that. Basically, as a thank you. And Sage is like, oh, my God, I feel like a lousy parent. How did I let this happen? I am going to purposely keep Sage up till about 3 in the morning just so her sleep schedule is normal for work and everything. Um... But yeah, we're just going to do those really quick. And then can we read him to bed? I don't think we have a child's book, so I don't think we can. Actually, do we even have a bookshelf in general? We do, upstairs in the kids' or the parents' room. But no, um, no children's books, so we can't read him to bed. So that's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is gonna have him go to sleep and then I think um I think that interaction we can actually tuck in children too let me check also if you haven't guessed we're definitely not doing Sunday um in this part okay we can't that's really sad that we can't tuck in children but we're gonna go tuck in the little ones and then we're gonna go to sleep and then I think Sage is gonna do the same thing after she eats she'll go tuck in both of the little ones and then she will also go to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, Jasper's going to be a freaking adult. Isn't that... Oh, God. What is wrong with you, Storm? Well, go chew. Like, I don't know what your deal is. Go take care of yourself. Chew and then eat. Gump, you need to eat. Go ahead and eat. And Forrest, you need to scratch. So yeah, in the next part, Jasper is going to become an adult. I'm actually going to have him really focus on the animals in the next part because he is an animal lover and we haven't, especially with, you know, three young kids, pretty much all three really back to back, like truthfully, because um, you have been a child for six days and you've been a toddler for six days. So they're, yeah, they're all pretty back to back um, with the kids. So truthfully, we have had so much time focused on the kids. He hasn't really had any time for the animals. So the next part, Jasper's going to age up. I think we'll have a casual like birthday in the park kind of thing. Um, maybe like at the dog park and we'll bring Storm with us and then I'll make sure to give the cat some attention before we leave. Maybe that'll be the deal. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for the next part. And then on Monday, two parts from now, Mila is going to become a child and we are going to do a whole house, not a whole house because obviously we don't have the money for that, but we're going to do a big house revamp. We're going to turn this room into Oliver's room and then this room into Mila's room and then any extra money we have, we will do like a revamp on the living room section and obviously all this kitty stuff is going to have to be moved around. Um, so that's kind of the plan for the next couple parts. I'm really excited for them. So let me know um, if you guys like this video by giving it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see all of your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye, guys.